Have you ever wondered how much water your cat needs to drink? It's a question many cat owners ponder. Hydration is essential for all living beings and our feline friends are no exception. It's not just about quenching their thirst, it's about maintaining a healthy balance within their bodies. Water plays a crucial role in every cellular function, from digestion to waste removal, and even temperature regulation. But as with most things, balance is key. Both overhydration and dehydration can lead to serious health issues for our furry companions. Overhydration can cause water intoxication, while dehydration can lead to kidney problems and other severe health conditions. That's why understanding your cat's hydration needs is so important. It's not about simply filling their water bowl and hoping for the best. It's about observing their behavior, knowing the signs of imbalance, and taking the necessary steps to ensure they're getting just the right amount. Understanding your cat's hydration needs can help ensure their health and longevity. So, what does science have to say about cat hydration? Well, to really understand this, we have to take a step back and look at where our feline friends come from. Cats are descendants of desert-dwelling animals, and as such, they've evolved to be incredibly efficient with their water consumption. Their ancestors had to survive in harsh, arid environments where water was scarce, and this has had a profound impact on the hydration needs of modern-day cats. Now, you may be wondering, how does this desert heritage affect a cat's hydration? The key lies in their diet. Wild cats would primarily eat prey, which is made up of around 70% water. This allowed them to get most of the hydration they needed from their food, reducing their reliance on finding water sources in the desert. Fast forward to today, and this trait has been passed down to our domesticated cats. If they're on a wet food diet, they're likely getting the majority of their water intake from their meals, just like their wild ancestors. Wet cat food can contain up to 80% water, closely mimicking the water content of prey animals. But what about dry food, you may ask? Dry cat food typically only contains about 10% water. This means that cats eating a dry food diet will need to drink more water separately to stay properly hydrated. It's fascinating, isn't it? The biology of cats is intricately tied to their desert origins, influencing their dietary habits and hydration needs. This doesn't mean that cats don't need water, they absolutely do. But it does mean that their bodies are adapted to getting most of their hydration from food and they are efficient at conserving water. So there you have it. The science of cat hydration is rooted in their desert ancestry, and this has significant implications for how we care for our feline companions today. Remember, regardless of their diet, cats still need access to fresh water at all times. As descendants of desert animals, cats have evolved to be efficient with their water consumption. Now that we understand the science, how much water does a typical cat need? The answer to this question isn't as straightforward as you might think, but let's start with a general guideline. A cat's hydration needs can be calculated based on its weight. On average, a cat needs about 60 milliliters of water for each kilogram it weighs per day. This means if you have a small five kilogram cat, it needs to consume around 300 milliliters of water daily. That's roughly the volume of a standard drinking glass. However, it's essential to remember that this is just a guideline. Many factors can influence a cat's water requirements. For instance, the type of food your cat eats plays a significant role. Cats that eat dry food may need more water because the food itself contains less moisture. On the other hand, cats that eat wet food receive a substantial portion of their water intake from their meals, so they may drink less. Similarly, a cat's age and health status can also affect its hydration needs. Kittens and older cats may need more water than their middle-aged counterparts. Cats with certain health conditions, such as kidney disease or diabetes, may also require more water. Even the weather plays a role. During the hot summer months, your cat may need to drink more water to stay hydrated. So, how can you ensure your cat is getting enough water? There's no one-size-fits-all answer, but monitoring your cat's water intake and watching for signs of dehydration can help. If you're ever in doubt, it's always a good idea to consult with a veterinarian. They can provide personalized advice based on your cat's specific needs and circumstances. In conclusion, hydration is a vital aspect of a cat's health. While every cat is unique, a good general guideline is 60 milliliters per kilogram of water per day. But remember, various factors can influence this number. So it's important to stay vigilant 
and adapt to your cat's individual needs. How can you tell if your cat is dehydrated? This question is crucial for cat owners, as our feline friends are notoriously stealthy about their health conditions. Dehydration is a serious concern, and spotting the signs early can be a lifesaver. One of the most common signs of dehydration in cats is lethargy. If your usually playful and active feline friend suddenly seems less interested in chasing that laser pointer or batting at their favorite toy, it could be a sign that they're not getting enough water. Lethargy can also manifest as a general lack of energy or enthusiasm for activities your cat usually enjoys. Another sign to look out for is dry gums. A cat's gums should be slick and moist, similar to our own. If you notice that your cat's gums are dry or sticky, it's a clear sign of dehydration. This may be accompanied by a loss of appetite, as eating can become uncomfortable when a cat is dehydrated. Decreased urine output is also a telltale sign. Cats typically urinate between two and four times a day. If you notice that your cat's litter box remains unusually clean, it could be an indication that your cat is not drinking enough water and is potentially dehydrated. Now you might be asking, how can I test my cat's hydration levels at home? One simple test is the skin tent test. Gently pinch the skin at the back of your cat's neck. If it springs back immediately, your cat is likely well hydrated. However, if the skin stays tented or takes a while to return to normal, it could indicate dehydration. However, remember that these signs and tests are not definitive. If you suspect your cat is dehydrated, it's always best to consult a veterinarian. Dehydration can be a symptom of a more serious underlying health issue, and it's important to address the root cause rather than just the symptom. Keep a close eye on your cat's behavior and physical signs to spot any potential dehydration. With attentive care, you can help ensure your cat stays healthy and hydrated. So, how can you encourage your cat to drink more water? Hydration is key to your cat's health, but getting them to drink enough can sometimes feel like a game of cat and mouse. But don't worry, we've got some tips to help you out. One of the simplest things you can do is to ensure that your cat always has access to fresh water. Cats are naturally drawn to fresh, clean water, so make sure to change their water bowl daily and keep it filled. If you have more than one cat, provide multiple water sources to prevent competition. Remember, cats are picky creatures, and they prefer their water to be as fresh as possible. Another great method to encourage hydration is to use a cat water fountain. Cats are instinctively attracted to running water because in the wild, running water is often safer to drink than stagnant water. A cat water fountain mimics this natural phenomenon, enticing your cat to drink more. Not to mention, it adds a touch of charm to your home decor. Lastly, consider adding more wet food to your cat's diet. Wet food is high in moisture content, which can significantly contribute to your cat's daily water intake. Wet food not only provides hydration, but also offers a variety of flavors and textures that cats find appealing. Just remember to consult your vet before making any major changes to your cat's diet. It's also worth mentioning that while these tips can help, it's crucial to understand your cat's normal drinking habits. Any sudden changes can indicate health issues and should be checked by a vet. Encouraging your cat to drink more water doesn't have to be a struggle. With a little creativity and understanding of your cat's preferences, you can ensure they stay hydrated and healthy. So, whether it's providing fresh water, using a cat water fountain, or adding more wet food to their diet, remember every bit helps. Encouraging your cat to drink more water can be as simple as providing fresh water and tasty wet food. Let's recap what we've learned about cat hydration. Hydration is not just crucial for us humans, but it's equally important for our feline friends. The science behind cat hydration reveals some fascinating insights. Unlike us, cats have evolved to get most of their water from their diet, and their thirst drive is not as strong. However, that doesn't mean they don't need water. On average, a cat requires roughly one milliliter of water per calorie they consume. That's about a cup of water for a 10-pound cat each day if they're on a dry food diet. We also discussed some signs of dehydration in cats, including sunken eyes, loss of appetite, and lethargy. If you notice these, it's time to take action. Encouraging hydration can be as simple as providing fresh water or incorporating more wet food into their diet. Remember, understanding your cat's hydration needs is key to ensuring their health and happiness. 